even imagine it's breast cancer. I'll say breast cancer. I don't know. Breast cancer. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that either. No, I didn't know that. Oh. Women are more at risk of heart disease during and after the menopause because of changes in the hormone levels. So what happens at the menopause is the ovaries stop producing the very important hormone oestrogen. With low oestrogen levels, there are changes in lots of systems in the body and related to the heart disease, there are changes in cholesterol level. So if we have too much cholesterol, that can cause narrowing, clogging up of the blood vessels, which can affect important organs such as the heart. Oh, I can tell you quite a bit about that. <laughs> well, heart flushes and um, mood swings. Mood swings, <laughs> not sleeping. It can be um, overweight, it can be obviously fluctuating, fluctuating mood swings as everybody knows. Me personally, really bad where I could kill my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew that. When women present to the doctor or the nurse about menopause, talking about the symptoms such as flushes and sweats, that opportunity should also be taken to think about heart risk. As we do at the moment, we think about bone health. So we're trying to think about long-term consequences of the menopause, not just the short-term consequences. So the moles live. Cut down on your fats. Cut down on your fats, yeah. yeah. Making sure your cholesterol levels stay at a low. Obviously don't smoke, um, occasional drinking then you obviously you'd want to kill yourself because you'd have no life at all. No, all the, all the usual things that we know but don't do. First of all, if, someone, if you're smoking, then stopping smoking provides huge benefits in reducing the risk of heart disease. As we found out, menopause is associated with changes in the cholesterol level. So for the diet, for general healthy diet, reducing our saturated fats and increasing our polyunsaturated fats, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables a day, losing weight if appropriate, increasing exercise, these are all really important. For specific dietary components, then consideration should be given to the plant sterols and stanols, which have been shown to reduce cholesterol level along with a healthy diet and lifestyle. Mm -hmm.